welcome back to the Simi Plum Bob channel and today we're going to continue on with um, My Jungle Adventures Part 6. So where we left off is that we actually found the site of where the airplane had crashed and we excavated a few dig piles but in the meantime Meanwhile, um, after Maya excavated one of the piles, um, she got attacked by some killer bees and now she is feeling icky and she doesn't know if it's something more serious, but we're going to wait these last five hours to see if she needs to take an antidote and I am... And I figured out how to get an antidote and the last part and pretty much all we have to do is get these bone dusts from the um, the vendor. So the good thing that we leveled up our culture before we actually jumped right into the jungle because um, if we couldn't get into those secret wares, um, there is no way we could get this ancient bone dust. So that's a good thing that we actually leveled that up and mastered it. So there's going to be no problems in getting things we need for people to make us an antidote. A poison antidote to save our lives potentially. So uh, we're going to figure out soon if she is okay and or if she's not okay and she needs to take an antidote and meanwhile um darling wash has discovered that one of her artifacts that she has dug up is actually a fake so that is that <laughs> so let's go ahead click play and see what <laughs> happens as this day moves movement slowly goes away through the night. So I plan on um, adventuring across the bridge today of that romantic place and seeing if um, we can actually go through the other parts of the jungle. <laughs> so that's going to be exciting. Um, hopefully she is okay. Hopefully these things will disappear. And hopefully, um, it will let us know if we need to, um, <laughs> take that antidote. See, the weird thing is, she got stung by a bees, she is fine. But if Maya gets stung by bees, it's like she has a huge allergic reaction or something, and uh, she needs an antidote to save her life, is what it seems like. <laughs> But, uh, where are we at now? It's still on there. It hasn't disappeared yet. Um, I'm just going to let them sleep for just a little bit longer. And hopefully... Oh, 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 what does it say? Maya wasn't able to fight off the poisoning, and it has progressed and gotten worse. Might want to do something about that soon. Oh, oh no! Oh my lord. Poisoned. From being stung by a freaking bee. We are poisoned by being stung by a freaking bee. Good thing we got that antidote. We got, we, see, ooh. Good thing they give you three days if you ever get poisoned to actually come up with an antidote to save your own life. Because I believe after those three freaking days, you could possibly die from being poisoned. What? Okay. So we could either get it cheaply by just buying that or like I said you can get online and but it's expensive so a good thing that everybody in Selva Dorada helped Maya get this antidote and she is going to take it as soon as I make her wake up but let's read what this day dazed moodlet says poisoned Poison is cursing through Maya's veins. Better find an antidote quickly. Surely someone from Selva Dorada knows where she can get one. Maybe search online? Okay, so if we had a computer, maybe that would have helped us not freak out in the last part and finding an antidote. So we already have one in our inventory. So what we're going to do is we're going to chug antidote. Chug that thing. Oh, I know. I know. Uh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> we are chugging this antidote. We are chugging it. As soon as I can get in my position, we're chugging it. 
Um, oh, good grief. My poor Maya. Poor Maya. No. Okay. Um, we are chugging this, so chug, chug, chug. <laughs> confident for some for sure so she is feeling great we got rid of the poison um f the bees <laughs> screw the bees that's all i gotta say let's actually make some Ooh, what is this coranto yeah let's make some coranto whatever that is and um eat some of that after she gets out of the bathroom so she is feeling a lot better we got an antidote we survived we didn't die and we get to live to adventure some more so this is one of the main reasons why her father didn't want her to actually go and explore because he was afraid that she was going to get poisoned or die or get a bad voodoo uh, curse on her or something like that and uh, he has every right to be scared because that scared the heck out of me. <laughs> But anyway, she's going to make some breakfast instead oh of going down to the market and waiting for the vendor oh, to open up. Because eating for Darling Wash takes forever. And I'd rather just go ahead, eat here, eat whatever she's cooking. Um, the Soranto, I believe that's how you would say it. She reached level three in the cooking skill. Yes. But before we actually go and continue to travel, we are getting a dang flower because that was like, psh, what? <laughs> We're getting that dang flower to chase off the bees. We got every other spray and um, things in this from the market, but we do not have any flowers. So as soon as someone sells them, we're buying them all. Um, we're buying them all. So she made an excellent quality Chiranto. What are you doing? She's gonna get water. No, don't get water. Don't do it. What are you doing? Girl, everybody's hungry. Everybody's hungry. So let's go ahead and take this back out and take a good look at this food. That looks delicious. It looks like it's, what, some chicken, some mussels, some shrimp. Um, so yeah, and I see a garlic clove maybe. So that looks delicious. I, um, I think I could possibly eat that i don't know myself but all that looks delicious i love chicken i love Russia. shrimp so um let's see if they actually like this food that she prepared it says add chicken potatoes bell peppers onions banana peppers and half a garlic season with salt and pepper cover lightly with cabbage leaves so uh -huh. yeah um it's a seafood mm. and meat dish wow Yummy! Uh, that sounds good to me. Um, so anyways, we're going back to the market real quick. And we're going to see if there is uh, any flowers we can please purchase. Oh, you buttholes. There are no flowers to purchase at all. <laughs> At all. Instead, they want to do all this and that instead of give us some more flowers, which sucks. Uh, but anyways, um, we are going to go ahead and travel and go to the jungle. Okay, so here we are back in the jungle at the very beginning of where we always start. But we are going to go ahead uh walk through with Darling and go back to that other place and try to go to another adventure 
that is <laughs> hopefully not life threatening. So we already went through there and we realized that's where the plane crashed. And we already went through there. We ain't going through there again <laughs> because we ain't going to get stung by bees from over there again. So really our foe, it seems like our true foe happens to be the bees. How grand. Alright, so she's going to actually go here. And we are they're both going to go over there. And she's going to try to clear that path. And see if we can't make it through to another part of the jungle. So, this is exciting. I'm hoping she doesn't die. And I am getting a lot happier in knowing what to do in the jungle. And what is things for. And I am so happy that she has somebody with her in the jungle to explore. Because if she was alone, I believe she would be scared to death. <laughs> or uh, I know I would be scared to death. Uh, okay, it's just, it's just, you know, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to clear this path and see if we can actually go through it. Yeah, they're both feeling flirty. Hopefully they don't start flirting with each other. <laughs> if they do, it's whatever. They do it on their own. But they're best friends, and I don't want them to ruin their friendship over a little romance. So that's one of the main reasons why I don't want them together. I want her to be able to still have a best friend. Come on, girl. Cut through it. Cut through it. You got this. You got this. I wish that she can help her cut through it. It'll be two people cut through it. What you crying for? Ma was forging through some thick vines a little too enthusiastically when her machete flew out of her hands and was lost forever in the thick jungle. <gasps> oh, no. Okay. So, <laughs> now we know why they keep selling machetes in the marketplace. It's because you can actually lose your machete while adventuring. So, good thing she bought another one. And she went ahead and gave it to her best friend. So, let's go ahead and trek through and see the dangers that will come up. Oh, please have an antidote for something. Oh, please don't let it be something life-threatening. Um, okay. Here we go. Okay. Mysterious pedestal. Nestled in the jungle is what looks like an ancient pedestal of some kind. On top is a shiny treasure, clearly placed there as an offering. Ooh. It's just there for the taking. So, should Maya take it or leave it? <laughs> um, higher Salvadoran culture skill leads to better results. Ooh. Ooh. You see, I am scared to death of this, though, because if I leave it, then, um, that could have been a lost treasure I could have. But if I take it, I could get a huge curse put on me. But I have, I've maxed out my Salvadorian culture skill, though. And I have my machete because of my best friend who has my back. And I could push it off with the, my machete. But that could also mean a lost um, artifact. We're going to take it. We're just going to go for it, take it, and hope for the best and hope that she doesn't die. Please don't let one of these question questionnaires through the jungle be something that could automatically kill a sim. Thank you. Okay, so higher leads to better results. So we maxed it out. Take it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. <laughs> Trapped treasure. While chatting with the locals, Maya had heard rumors about just such a treasure in the jungle. By recalling the lyrics from a traditional song, she follows a sequence of steps that safely deactivates the trap. The treasure is hers for the taking. Ha 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 So we actually deactivated a trap, got our treasure, and made it through. 
eat that. Okay, so what treasure? No, I don't want to go into the city, Dad. I'm out in Selva Dorada. Quit trying to make me go back home. Anyways, um, what did we actually find? We found the Omiskian gold calendar plate. Ooh. So is that part of it? It sure is. Hey, so if we didn't uh take that chance we wouldn't have gotten another treasure so it says Om omiska commemorative commemorative plate one of five this archaeological archaeological ar archaeological find proves that collectible plates don't didn't start with your grandmother how dare you no <laughs> Alrighty, so yeah this is an ancient plate Sweet. So I think she will probably find all the Omiskian treasures while her friend uh, finds all the ancient Omiskian artifacts. So those two are totally different things. So that's amazing. You actually found a great treasure. So let's take a look at where we are this time, you guys. What? So I wish we could actually see some monkeys in the tree. That would be pretty cool to see some type of wildlife except for stuff that could, um, or stuff that is like crawlies and insects and snakes and stuff like that. I wish we could see some like monkeys swinging on the vines here and there or something another some other type of wildlife like maybe see like a jaguar running across or something that would have been awesome but this place i am just blown away by what they did with the jungle in the sims 4 it looks amazing to me it looks like we've made it to some part of an ancient ruin so yeah it looks like um uh, let's see. Let's scoot over here and look down. Ooh, there's some type of water over here. Is that a is that a new bush that we can? <gasps> there's some berries growing off of that tree. Okay, so <laughs> we are most definitely going to view tree of emotions what is that jazz whoa whoa so we can actually come all the way up here on this ledge say what say what okay so down below is a pool of water and there's the ancient ruins that we've actually seen underwater in another part back whenever it was but yeah this is so amazing i just can't get over how cool it looks you guys but let's go ahead and harvest from the tree of emotions because that is something i want to do oh okay look she made it great okay so while she does that is that another no while she does that i want you to actually um take out your table and let's actually look through another artifact here. Um, let's um, authenticate artifact. Uh, let's authenticate that one that you just took out of a dirt pile. Because I think that would be cool. Okay, so what kind of things did she get? Wow, she got a bunch of things. Wow. Okay. So pause a second. So we actually got Mary Bees. Um, berry, <laughs> Mary Berries. Happy little berries make for a happy little sim. Just pop one in your mouth and try not to smile. I dare you. <laughs> we also have a Flutter Berries. Be very careful around these berries. It will set your heart a flutter and can cause immediate flirtiness. Be aware of nearby sims when consuming this fruit. Okay. We also have Muzzberries. Writer's Block. Struggling to solidify the spark of a good idea. Fear not, because around this fruit, you're a bit away from a mouthful of inspiration. Um, what else do we have? We have, uh, care berries. A quick handful of these berries will focus a sim like a laser beam. Great for snacking during homework or when you just want to be able to concentrate. We also have razzle berries. These yummy berries are squishy and juicy. One taste will remind Sims of their childhood and cause playful tendencies. 
<laughs> razzles. Um, guts berries. These berries instill a sense of confidence in a sim. Eat a bunch and you'll get the guts of the most dangerous social maneuvers. Okay. And we also have vim berries. These berries will get a sim moving. Full of vim and vigor, nothing else gets you energized so quickly. And they're delicious to boot. A win-win. So, we act there's actually a wild tree of emotions that we can actually grow. So, yeah, I wonder if we have to find a certain type of thing to actually grow that tree or can we grow it with one of our emotional berries i don't know but we'll soon find out wow Ooh, that's nice. holy 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 cow wow that is just amazing see her view oh my goodness her view is gorgeous uh Oh, <laughs> I could totally see myself yelling off of this, but then again, that could be dangerous, um, mostly because there are wild animals in jungles, <laughs> so, yeah. but anyways, I just had to give it a try. <laughs> okay, so let's actually go back to Darling, and she's still over here examining awesome. her little mask no. that she found no. um is there a ruin we can actually walk into yet or are we still venturing in a jungle okay so we got two openings here we got this one here and this one here to travel through <laughs> so i don't know about you guys i don't know if you are enjoying this um or not but i certainly am Wow, and there's another one over here. There are so many places. Uh, what? Drat, it's bats. Plasma bats at that. Still, Maya isn't too concerned. After all, she's got a bit of plasma bat bait that's sure to interest these bats more than her boring exploring self. Oh, Lord, we just stood out here for too long, and it's caused the bats to go nuts and notice her, and they see her blood pumping through her veins. I wonder if the plasma bats would still go after vampires. That's an interesting question. But anyways, let's see this interaction and see her fight off the bats. Let's do this. You got this, girl. You got this, girl. You got this, girl. Go. Go. Fight them off, fight them off. Oh, ah. She, sweet. She, <laughs> she threw it off the, off the side. She's like, here, I got a bait. Bye. <laughs> that, that was smart. Good job, Maya. After careful analysis, Darling has determine this artifact is genuine. Further analysis will allow Darling to continue to hone her archaeology skill. So actually one of these things that she has found is actually real. Authent authentication confirmed. Fascinating records indicating that oh fascinating records indicating the artifact is both genuine and really old. So let's take a look at that. Oh wrong girl. No, I was on the right one. Oh, it's still on her thing. Wow. Look at that. So does that mean that since she did that, that will be a part of her um, collectibles? It is. Oh, she found... Oh, it's a poor quality, but it's rare. A beautiful mask. However, it was not very functional. Wearing this mask resulted in many neck injuries due to the sheer weight of this mask. Sweet. So we're going to put this in our inventory. Pick that back up. And it's only 9 o'clock in the morning. Whoa, we're doing good. We get to travel to more destinations. Yes. Okay, so you will excavate that since we are here. And that is there. There's another one. Oh, 
This path is sealed shut and cannot be opened on this trip. Perhaps next vacation it'll open? Huh? What? We can't even go through there. We definitely want to find a way through that because that is pretty interesting of why we can't actually, actually go through it. Okay. Okay, so... <laughs> Um, I am so happy. It's only 9 o'clock in the morning and we haven't even went to more places in this part of the jungle. So where are we going to go? We are going to go to the first place we see that needs to be open. So we just came through there and so we are going to go through here. Clear it with a machete it with the machete. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get attacked by bees and whatnot because that would suck. Okay, so she put everything back in her inventory. Wait, no she didn't. I lied. You need to put that back in your inventory and then you can come over here and excavate that, whatever that is. Where is it? Where did I find it? <gasps> um... Um, she was running this direction. Oh, she's probably coming over here. Uh, buh, buh, buh. it's gotta be over here. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, good. Woo, I found it. Okay, so let's go back to her and see if she can actually go through this with ease. Please. Wait, what? She's inspired. A new perspective from being near the cliff lookout. Standing at the top of a beautiful vista makes you see the whole world in a new light. Sure it does. Um, preparation perfection. Purchasing gear at the marketplace. A money well spent. Yeah. Alright. So, we're going to try to get through this. Let's see where this takes us. <laughs> oh man. Well, I guess this is where our adventure ends today. <laughs> this will be the last place we can go because she broke another dang machete. So, that means we are going to have to um, purchase a bunch of more machetes just to make sure that we have some on our trips because in this area of the jungle, they seem to break really easily. see what this says back here. Maya was foraging through some thick vines, a little too enthusiastic. Okay, it's the same thing. Um, we encountered another jaguar in the jungle. Um, fire quencher consumes Drake's fire quencher. I wonder how we consume Drake's fire quencher. Weird. But we're going to stop moving and hopefully, um, the cat won't get us. Uh, Yeah, okay, the cat got scared away. Travel to the Miskin Royal Baths. Huh? <laughs> the next stop along the path appears to be a natural pool. It might be the Omiskin Royal Baths. Would you like to travel there now? Okay. Um, we are, we are taking Darling. Sorry, Darling, we're going to the baths. Okay, so here we are at the Omiskin Royal or Baths or what another it's called, but wow look how beautiful this looks and it's over what now it's over some type of trees in the jungle look at that look at this place oh wow so we actually discovered a little place to swim and whatnot ancient baths amazing Amazing. So I believe um, this is where we actually travel travel back to where we just came from. So let's take a quick look at some of these. Some of the ruins are in the ground. Some ground shifting and whatnot happened here. Uh, oh, whoa. Oh, that would be so neat if we could go over there and look around in there. That is so beautiful. 
we actually made it up here. This is where that waterfall is, that big waterfall. That is too cool. We actually made it on top of the waterfall. <laughs> Say what? Say what? <laughs> so this must be the place where the her ancestors probably lived before, you know, it turned into a waterfall area. Um, but anyways, we are here and we are ready to, uh, what are we ready to do? Uh, what is this? Uh, that is a tree of emotions. Let's harvest some more of those berries. Ooh, what does this say? Uh, sprightly springs. Just being near these natural pools puts a spring in one's step. Lovely. Um, there's another door that we have to wait for it to be opened here. So what? There are so many adventures to take in this jungle. It's amazing. Okay. So that makes me super happy. Let's actually skinny dip in this pool. I think that would be a fun, fun thing. So here we go. Everybody's going to go and skinny dip. Have a little fun while they're in the natural pools and whatnot. Oh, noosh, noosh. Where are you at? Oh, she's swimming around. Girl's gone wild. <laughs> uh, yay! All right, so... Um, tell a Mexican folk tale. Oh, that's kind of like what? Do what now? Kiara Splasher. Spawning. Splasher. Camus band trip. Shufflet. Um, oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> we knew. <laughs> 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 they are skinny dipping in an ancient pool. Oh, lovely. Okay. Um, well, ooh. Look at, look at these thingamajigs. Ain't that pretty? I think it's pretty. Um, I don't think we can travel back that way. But we can travel over here a little bit and take a look. Um around here. Is there anything that we could possibly find, maybe? Oh, there's another path over here. There is something to excavate. So let's get her to go ahead and do that. Get over here and excavate a little bit. Um, splashy fun. A little water splashed around really livens things up. So yeah, they're having fun and enjoying their little time in the natural pool. Uh, let's see. Um, I don't see really anything other than the pool and a new entryway that we can't actually go through yet, so. She is still, <laughs> she's still naked. She's gonna run around butt naked. Oh, oh, so is she. They're like frolicking through the flowers. <laughs> Uh, go here. Do, will you? <laughs> They're just gonna run around here butt naked. I think they lost their clothes or something. Or they seen a spider on it or bees or something and they're like, I don't want to put my clothes back on. This is beautiful. <laughs> oh, Lord. Lorraine. Oh, Lorraine. Uh-huh. Okay, so let's come over here where she's at. Oh, oh, I wish we can just stand in there and like cloud gaze in that little area. Uh, so what I want her to actually do, um, why don't you go ahead and cloud gaze. What is spoiled ah. in her inventory? She has, 
Oh, she has a uh -huh. fancy antidote thingy. Cool. Uh, let's see what this says. Reach archaeology level four. Darling has developed a keen eye for spotting sites of archaeological importance. She can now survey for dig piles in the jungle. Say, huh? So, you telling me, oh my goodness, yes. So, now that she's reached level four in the archaeology skill, we don't have to run around frantically trying to find some things, such as the sites, um, archaeology digs. So, now we can just click on the ground and try to search for them that way instead of doing it ourselves. Alejandro Guterres. Okay, um, there is a dude over there. We might want to put our clothes back on. <laughs> we don't want that dude over there looking at our naked bods. So, uh, yeah. Let's put our clothes back on. Get up off the ground. I can just imagine like a damp naked body laying on the dirt. Yeah. <laughs> so that is interesting. See what what's happening? What? Oh, your friend. Okay. Survey for dig piles. Hmm? Survey for a dig pile. Okay. And then authenticate three artifacts. She needs to authenticate uh, one more. What would you? Oh, she found one. <laughs> Floopy. Look at uh. there. Well, that is handy dandy. Examine three traps. Find your way to an Omniscian temple. Click on a temple trap and uh, select examine. Okay, so we still haven't been able to go to any type of temples yet. So that is something that I would love to do. So, yay. So with her searching for these, um, uh, digs, um, it will be much easier for her to level up in her thingamajig. <gasps> Whoa! Look at the side of this! Ain't that beautiful? Say what? Say what? <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What? What? What is this? Get out of my way, trees. Get out of my way. <laughs> wow, look at this place. Holy cow. Look at all the colors and the butterflies and everything else. That is really, really, really beautiful. So she found an artifact shaped dirt clump. Someone's singing. What you singing, Fugger? Did you sing it for good? Okay. <laughs> so let's follow her to the bathroom and figure out where it at where it's at. Oh. Okay. I just love that there is no um like there is no loading screens between these. That is awesome. But too bad that we don't have a, a machete oh. anymore. Uh. Uh. uh oh, uh oh. A swarm of bees is ascending on Darling. She quickly considers her options and settles on using the uh, the flower. <laughs> it was advertised as a way to keep bees distracted. Time to see if it works. Oh no. Uh -huh. Beepsies. Beepsies. Yeah. Uh -huh. Aha. 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 Okay, so go use the restroom and then we are gonna go um, back to the marketplace and try to um, where are you at? Dude, are you stuck? What? Whoa! Dude, there's a bunch of things here. If you just stand still, you are screwed. <laughs> Pretty much. Don't stand still in the jungle or you are screwed. So let's go back to the marketplace and see if we can't purchase any more things for their adventure. There we go. I'm just going to shut these by one, two, and three of them. Since that person carefully refined bit of common crystal. Perfect for mystical arts and crafts. 
that's interesting. I can't wait to see what I can do with that. I wonder what that does. I don't know. Go ahead and go dance and have a little fun. See, look at your friend. She's starting to get it. She's starting to get it. Go, girl, go. I love this dance, actually. I could probably, uh, probably have them here all night dancing. We're back. We're back. I love how she can just dance to this. Oh, and this does level up your dancing too. Yes. I'm glad to know that. So level do, dancing to this. Up your, ooh, look at her go. <laughs> Levels up her dancing as well. She's also a three dancer. <laughs> Yay! 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 <laughs> look at everybody dancing. They're like, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, look at us, look at us. We're doing good. And we are actually gaining some relationship with some of these people. I love how her outfit is like the exact opposite of hers. They are like wearing almost the exact same outfit. <laughs> Studied for historical insights? Oh no! There is one day left of this vacation. To end the trip, choose extend vacation on the phone. No! Well, we are totally going to end this vacation in a day. Mostly because those doors will not open during this trip. So I want those doors to potentially open. So let's take a look at this. Study for historical insights. Look at her. <laughs> I didn't know you could actually do this. Alrighty. So what did that do? Keen insight. Study of the root influences are important for art and culture. Sweet. Okay. So I want you to come over here and study that as well. So let's actually go to the museum. And then we will go home and call this a part. So here we are at the museum. Ooh. Luis Alejandro Santa Maria. <laughs> Cool, cool. So there are kids in this civilization. Uh, let's go ahead and bring this down. Wow. Woo! Look, our very first skeleton that we can actually look at here, you guys. Ain't that cool? I knew there were some type of skeleton stuff around here, but I didn't know when we would actually um, see it or whatnot. But anyways, here we are at the museum. Let's actually go view some of these artifacts together and have a little fun with that. Um, they are getting a little bit hungry. What I want you to do is I want you to eat that grilled cheese ready to eat. Do you have a grilled cheese that's ready to be eaten by any chance? I don't think you do. But we're just going to give the other one to, to your friend here. Y'all just look out for each other. Go ahead and eat it. Get your hunger up while we look at this and that. Uh huh. Oh, well, that was just one bite. Uh huh. Oh, I like it. I like that. That's just one bite. Okay, so let's actually turn on ooh, a engraved plaque view collection together. Let's look at this collection of stuff. Wow. Isn't that great, you guys? So, yeah, it's huh? pretty much just uh, the dolls look like it's just collections. Um, so, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, let's see. They have, you know, bathrooms in here. Ooh, okay. It says, fascinating collection. That collection was simply marvelous. An example like that helps Maya focus on completing her next task. How lovely. In the next part, we are definitely going to finish this um, this part of her 
of her, um, oh my lord, what am I trying to say, of her aspiration. Oh. And in the next part, hopefully, we will find some ruins and start um, getting into traps and stuff. That is going to be so cool, you guys. <laughs> Alright, you guys, well, thank you all so much for watching, and I really hope you like this part. And I cannot wait to see what the next part brings. I know in the next part, more than likely, we're probably going back home to San Myshuno. And we are probably going to have to <laughs> ask for some moolah from the parents because they are, they have money. So, <laughs> anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next part. Everybody have a great day.